Hello, brothers and sisters. Here I stand with my umbrella in the narthex of the new church, right in front of the doors to the nave. And with my umbrella on this rainy day, you might think that I'm going to break out into a song uh, from singing in the rain. However, that's not the case. I wish I could break out into a song. However, we got some unfortunate news from Durham today. We are not going to be ready for the dedication on Saturday. So the dedication is going to be postponed. The simplest reason I can give you for that is that there is a lack of coordination between the various offices in Durham that certify the project to the point that some of them contradict each other and that have us running in circles trying to get these things solved. So, lots of prayers for a lot of clarity on their parts. If we can get this finished, we have really just two small things left to be finished. And it is really that simple. And it's nothing on our part that no lapses, nothing. It's just the magic of trying to finish off a project, I suppose. And when thinking about it, I thought, you know, I could be really sad about this. And certainly today's torrential downpours sort of nudge me in that direction. However, I have to say, I'm not sad at all. I'm disappointed, sure, that dedication is not going to take place Saturday. But I am not sad. I am not sad because of the strength of my community. We have come this far, and we will finish this project. Clearly, we're going to finish the project. There's no doubt about that. And we will celebrate like nobody has ever celebrated before when we are finished. In case you have questions about uh, what happens for the coming weekend then, let me clarify a few points. We will have Mass again in the old church, and we will have a 5.30 evening vigil Mass that is preceded by 4 o'clock confessions, and the confessions will be still over at the office. I had intended to have them over here in the new church, thinking that I could do that, but... We're going to have them over still at the office if you intend to go to confession here. So 5.30 evening mass vigil. There will be an 8.30, yes indeed, an 8.30 a.m. mass returns this Sunday in the old church. And then there will be an 11.30, no longer an 11, but now an 11.30 a.m. mass. And that is to accommodate faith development for the kids when they start that back up. So it will be 8.30 a.m. and 11.30 a.m. So if you show up at 11, you're going to be a half an hour of well-spent meditation, I'm sure. The other thing I would uh, mention is that daily Mass starting on Monday will be at 9 a.m. And daily Mass will be Monday through Saturday at 9 a.m. And the only exceptions to that would be if we had a funeral and you know something like that. But we will have daily Mass every day, uh, those six days, uh, for the daily Mass at 9 a.m. So 5.30, Vigil Mass, 8.30 a.m. and 11.30 a.m. Sunday Mass, 9 a.m. Mass, Monday through Saturday, and night prayer will remain at 8 p.m. The last thing I'll mention is that the bishop was very gracious when I called him today to tell him that in spite of our best efforts, that these two small steps that Durham has to complete for us, that they are unable to coordinate themselves well enough to do it, at least for this Saturday, that we would need to, to postpone the dedication. The bishop was wonderful and said, Father Robert, as soon as you get your certificate of occupancy, let me know, and I will do everything in my power to rearrange my schedule to celebrate the dedication of Holy Infants New Church at a time most convenient for your parish and most beneficial for your parish. He could not have been more supportive, more encouraging, and more wonderful, and he really helped a lot of the rain, at least the mental rain, dissipate in that moment. So I thank you, and thank you for your patience. We have come this far. We will complete this project. I hope that you're able to attend once I'm able to give you a new date. God be blessed.